Well, hello my crazy cats, and welcome to my let's play of the game Terraria. We're here joined in my Pertastic world, and I very, very quickly want to start this episode, because we've just got a message on screen saying that Barney um, the Merchant has arrived, and I don't quite know what that means, but we've got we've got a new friend in our house. He's just waddled in, into my house. You can't see him, because Wyatt is getting in his way. I'm guessing Wyatt's a bit jealous, because we've got a new NPC in the house. <laughs> Wyatt, it's okay. You can step away. We can't see Wyatt, but Wyatt is an old man. He's a merchant, which means we can buy things from him, but I don't quite know what we can buy yet, uh, but I'm starting this episode as soon as I can, because we're having to, like, throw a room together uh, for Wyatt. I haven't yet done anything since the last episode, apart from get, uh, get a little, gather a little bit of uh, of wood, just because I didn't uh, want to have to gather loads in the episode. So, all I've then done since the last episode, uh, since the episode where we, we ended off finding a new biome, which I'll explain uh, what we're going to be doing in this episode in a minute. But since the last episode, I've done completely nothing, and I've just got a message. We literally recorded this straight after the last episode. Uh, in the last episode, we did find a new biome, but we recorded this straight after the last episode, and we've just got a message telling us that um, Barney has arrived. So we're here uh, recording this quickly, as soon as we could, and we are trying to throw a Barney a room together. So this start of the episode is kind of kind of a little bit stressful. I think I think I need a breather. Okay, 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 right. We've got Barney the Merchant in 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 our hotel now. So now uh, our house is kind of turned into a little bit of a hotel, isn't it? I need to I need to actually make some uh, some wooden platforms so we can actually uh, reach Barney's room. No, we can make we can make windows. We can make windows here. Look, I'm I'm gonna make a few of these. I don't I don't quite know what it does, but I want to make a few of those. Though no, we've got um we've got. We've got ten, ten glass in our, in our, in our thing. We've got a mug. We can make mugs. We can make glass. I want a glass bowl. I'm gonna make a coffee mug. I'm gonna make a little pink vase. I'm gonna make a, a, a um. What else can I make? A, a wine glass? Why not? <laughs> um. Let's actually. I need to focus. I need to focus. Let me go down to the uh, the wooden wall section. Where is the wooden wall? Here they are. And we can make glass walls. This is pretty interesting. I'm just finding these new things now. I'm guessing it's something that I've recently collected. Uh, that is allowing me to to craft all these things. So I now I actually want to quickly. Oh, Bernie's already done it. Bernie, did you do this? Did you did you do the room? Did you do the room? Did you do the room? And I might as well say that we are being joined by Birdie in this episode. <laughs> I didn't actually mention that, but in the last episode, me and Birdie uh, uh, travelled out and we done some exploring, and we are recording this straight after, as I do say. And also, Birdie's put a new a new door in, so we can get out the other side of the house. That is probably a better idea. And I'll probably move it down in a little bit. And he's also put some fences in and uh, and a little sunflower. I like it. I like it. The only problem is, is this 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 fence is kind of floating. So I'm going to destroy this one very quickly. I'm sorry, buddy. It's going to give me OCD otherwise. So, uh, just very quickly, just want to go like this and just make this into a full block. Uh, like that. There we go. Uh, there we go. Nice and perfect. But, uh, Wyatt, we can still not see Wyatt's face. As, uh, no, um, we can still not see Barney's face as Wyatt is standing in front of him. <laughs> come on. Come on. Can we tell him to move? Can we tell him to move? Come on. I want to speak to Wyatt. I know. I know. I want to speak to Barney, not you, Wyatt. Why? I want to speak. To, I'm guessing uh, why it's getting a little bit jealous because we've got a new NPC now. So. Alright, whilst them two settle their differences, we are going to travel out straight to the biome that we finished in the last episode. We haven't got time, uh, unfortunately, to to um, to uh, decorate uh, Barney's room for now. So, for now, he's just going to have to have plain walls and, and a plain background. So, I don't know what Bernie's doing, but come on, Bernie. We need to go and we need to go and hurry up because it is, I believe it's turning night time. And I do not want to be uh, stuck out in a new biome that I don't know what it is in the night time. And I believe that new biome is actually a jungle biome because uh, just before we uh, we actually ended the well just after we ended the recording I did get slain by a jungle bat so I'm guessing it is a jungle biome which is cool I wonder what is in a jungle biome I wonder if there's like different chests underground that we can collect with some more loot in it because in the last episodes uh, we did actually get pretty lucky uh, with the chest and buddy keep up I do not want to lose you okay I do not want to lose you and especially in this part there are those uh, annoying vultures and me and Birdie 
are rocking these raincoats today because uh, it is very, very rainy in Terraria. So we do want to uh, kind of ignore these vultures. That's what we want to do. Ignore the vultures. There we go. Get him. Get him. There we go. We took him out nice and easily. I'm, I'm kind of feeling we are getting a little bit a little bit better at the game. We have uh, got better tools and things now. And then, uh, uh, <laughs> But I did. Saying that, I joined uh, uh, someone else's world the other day and I, I saw the items they had. So uh, I'm not... I'm not I'm, I'm not so much of a <laughs> so much of a pro at Terraria, <laughs> right? So I need to uh, head over to that new biome that we discovered, which I'm assuming uh, assuming is a jungle biome. And there's a flying fish there. Run away, birdie! It's gonna attack you. I just saw birdie uh, get beat up by a, by a, by a, a fish there. And I've, I've got a challenge. Seeing as we've been dying in in pretty much every single episode, let's have a challenge not to die in this episode. So we gotta make sure we've got mushrooms on us, which I found. That will actually regen our health. Uh, so if we use the mushrooms when we need to, and I'm just going to take out this flying fish. There we go. Uh, if you want to come over here, Birdie, do you want to come over here? There we go. I don't know what Birdie's quite doing. He seems to be just building loads of, uh, loads of little staircases everywhere. Come on, Birdie. We haven't got time to waste. It's night time. It's night time. We're going to get slain in a minute, and the challenge is to stay alive for once, seeing as we are so bad that we have to challenge ourselves to stay alive <laughs> at least one night in Terraria. Right. Uh, right now, I need to connect my controller. Come on, reconnect. Come on, come on, controller. Uh, there we go, right. <laughs> the controller is reconnected. Sorry about that. Um, but there is, I thought that was another fallen star. And with that, we could have uh, increased our mana again, made one of those blue stars again. Uh, but then again, we do need five of those to actually do so. So, buddy, if you want to jump up here, and here we go. Here is the biome uh, that we found in the last episode. And this is uh, the spot that we ended off on. So, um, since the last episode, we've done completely nothing, as I said, apart from gather a little bit of wood. So, I haven't been exploring in this this part of the world. What's this? There's money here. Is this where I died early? I think this is where I died uh, just before recording the episode. But now, uh, what we kind of want to do is actually explore this part of the world. This is all new to me. I've never seen anything like this before. In this, can you see that? There's something glowing down there. Can you see that? I kind of want to dig towards that thing down there. Can you see that? Like the red glowing thing in the corner. <laughs> I can see it. Right. I don't know where Birdie's going. Birdie, stay close. Stay close. I don't want to lose Who's you, Birdie? <laughs> Birdie's going somewhere else, and I'm uh, I'm kind of worried that I'm going to get a message on my screen telling me that um his head has been torn off by some kind of weird animal. <laughs> All right. I, I kind of want to head uh, down to this glowing thing to find out what it is because I've never seen anything like this in Terraria. I don't know if it's just because we're in this new biome, but I've never seen this before. Let's see what what is this? Can we can we kill it? Can we kill it? Is it a mob or is it is it stuck to the wall? Can we can we hit it with a hammer? Is that gonna? Ow! Ow! Did you see that? Ow! Oh, I'm getting hit by. I'm not gonna hit that thing once again. It seems like when I hit it, it actually takes my health away. Right. I've just had a mushroom, so I can regen my health a little bit. There is a red slime down here, so I do want to be a uh, kind of careful. Because if we do die in this episode, we have, we have ruined our challenge of trying to at least stay alive for at least one episode. So that that makes us look like noobs, and we don't want to look like noobs, even though we are. We kind of just want to hide the fact that we are noobs. So let's just put a torch there. We're, it seems like there's nothing down this way, and it seems like Birdie's got the right idea and gone in a different direction. Birdie, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming your way. <laughs> I don't quite know if. If uh, if this is a good place to be or a bad place to be, I don't know quite what, what, uh, quite what's under it. So I do want to be quite kind of careful because, of all we know, we could accidentally awake a boss. And I don't, I don't, I'm not ready for any bosses yet. I, I can barely take out a little slime, and uh, even the bunnies seem to uh, to seem to scare me off. No, it's a piranha! It's a piranha! Did you see that? As soon as I drop down, a piranha side attack me. See what I mean? This this biome is gonna scare me loads because I don't even know what's down. It. This is the scariest part of the game, not knowing uh, what's down it. But it's also kind of fun because we are noobs. And we are learning like the game slowly, so it is a really fun process. No, there's another one of those piranha thingies. Go away, go away. And I've just found a shuriken. I don't know if that's mine or if it's Birdie's or something. I don't know if he dropped it by accident, but it seems like Birdie's getting all the yours. I don't think this is fair. 
I don't think this is fair, but seeing as um, I am a little bit more kitted out than Bernie, I guess it is a little bit fair. So, I don't know where I'm heading, actually. I don't know quite where I'm heading. It seems like this bit doesn't... Oh, there's more water. I kind of want to ignore the water. I kind of don't want to get flooded as soon as, like, dig into it. So, I kind of I just want to ignore this bit of water. And, oh, no, I've just dug into the water. The bit that I said I, I want to ignore, I've just dug straight into it. Oh, here's some more iron. Here we go, the famous iron that we always find. <laughs> All right, what is what is all this stuff though? There's there's weird plants on here. There's can we get these? Oh, I've just destroyed it, but I didn't get anything. Oh, 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 there we go. There's a tree. There's a tree. There's an underground tree in here. I'm guessing this is like a jungle then, because it looks like very very viney and like very very uh very very green. So I'm guessing it is kind of like a jungle. No, we didn't use the the glass that we made. We didn't add it to our little hotel. Um, so we can use that when we get back. And if we, let's make it a rule, if we die once in this biome, or, or twice at least, if we die twice, we're not allowed to come back here until another episode, because I don't want to spend all, 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 uh, all, all episode exploring, even though know, it is like the funnest part of the game, I kind of want to get stuff done to my house, I kind of want uh, uh, the new uh, Barney to have a, have a room, but no, what is that, there's something shooting me, there's something shooting me, no, no, it's going to kill you, buddy, it's going to kill you, no, get it, get it, get it, get it, oh no, it's a hornet, there's a hornet there, I kind of want to take one of these uh, mushrooms because I am very, very low on health. After that, no, it, it, it's turned us green. Buddy, you're looking greener than ever. And so, oh, oh no, no, Red Cats Gaming couldn't find the antidote. No, we just got killed by a hornet. A hornet. That was terrible. <laughs> Look at Birdie there blocking himself and he doesn't want to die. All right, Birdie, if you just wait there. I'm going to quickly do something in the house. I'm quickly going to uh, use these glass, uh, these new glass box that I made. I kind of want to see uh, what they do. So I'm going to I'm gonna be with you in one moment, Birdie. Just hang on right there. Just don't do a thing. I don't want you getting killed by a hornet too. I've got an idea. Maybe next time we go to the jungle, we can use my little jabby umbrella to protect us. Ourselves. We can walk in there, and uh, if there's any hornets, hopefully this can reflect like their bullet things. <laughs> what a great idea, Red Cat! Use an umbrella to the rescue. What a great idea! <laughs> you can tell I would survive in a game like this. <laughs> right, I I'm kind of thinking that you have to place the blocks like this. So if I go uh, along here like this, so if I go like this, is this gonna work? Yes. Here we go. We've got glass. We've got a glass window. This is look. This looks very snazzy. And now if I place another one, uh, maybe. Uh, up, um, up, up, uh, here? If we place another one here, is this gonna look good? If I go like this, and there we go. We've got, we've got windows in the, in the little hotel that we've got. And, and still, still Wyatt is covering Barney's face. I'm hoping they're gonna move at some point so I can actually see what Barney does. Come on, Barney. I wanna speak to Barney. Come on, Wyatt, move out of the way. Let me speak to, let me speak to him. Come on. Can I, can I get you to move? If I help, if I ask you for help, will you, will you move? Come on. Come on, maybe if I like drop him down a hole, if I destroy this, it doesn't sound so very nice. There we go. They're, they're moving together. They're like twins. They're like they're in, they're synchronized as well. They they want to be together. It looks like they're now uh, best friends. And oh, they've split apart. They've had an argument. They've split apart. <laughs> All right. I kind of want to place down this uh this table back here because I did have to destroy a table in the process of trying to get them to move apart. But now I can speak to Barney. Barney, I want to speak to you. I want to speak to you. No. No, not you, Why? I want to speak to Barney. Let me speak to Barney. Come on. And wait, there we go. Right. I hope a scrawny kid like you isn't all that is standing between us and Cthulhu's eye. Um, well, well, thanks, I guess. Thank you, uh, thank you very much. Um, let's go to his, uh, shop. There we go. Um, mining helmet uh, for eight gold. <gasps> Is that what the money does? Is that what the money that I've been getting does? I've only got silver and, uh, silver and the, the bronze colour now, though. I think, I think to buy a lot more expensive stuff, I think I need the gold. I'm not sure how I obtain that, so that, now that we found out what the money does, that is a lot more helpful. I'm going to be buying a load of things after I get loads of money. I want to get, I want to get really, 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 really rich of this money now. Right, so we can buy a mining habit. It uh, provides light when raw, when worn. Does that mean when we go mining, well, it is kind of in the name. Does that mean when we go mining, we can wear that and it will, like, glow up without any torches or something? That would be super, super handy. A piggy bank uh, can be placed. Um, an iron man anvil, a bug net, a copper pickaxe, a copper axe, a torch, a lesser healing potion, uh, some glow sticks, a uh, rope, shurikens, and wooden arrow, and and lesser manning potions. So there we go. 
we can now buy things instead of going out and gathering it uh, from from Barney. Thank you, Barney, uh, for moving in, and I hope you enjoy your stay in my uh, fantastic world. But for now, I need to <laughs> I need to head back to over to the jungle biome because Birdie's just been waiting pa patiently, and I bet he's still locked up in that little block they built. So I'm gonna head all the way over there now, and I've just collected another one of those uh, fallen stars. Have we got five yet? Yes, we have. Right, uh, now that we've got five fallen stars, I can now make one of those blue stars again, which increases our mana, which puts our mana up by one, which I believe, uh, I've, I've had a little bit of a research, and um, I believe uh, the mana is for, like, magic magic swords and things. So once you get, like, a magic item in the game, uh, the mana helps it, like, be be uh, be stronger, I guess. So I'm just going to... Oh, look, these, these fallen stars are everywhere. I, could, I should come out here more often. Look at this. I'm rich with fallen stars and another one up there. I've got to get that one. Look at this. this is, I've just ran into, have we nearly got five already? Let's see. I've got four already and just after like a minute of me crafting uh, the blue star. But we've now uh, got like three uh, mana stars, which is pretty, pretty cool. But I need to try and head back as soon as I can back over to Birdie because the meanies are coming out now and I'm kind of getting a little bit worried about him because he is a uh, much newbie than me. And as I keep on saying, I do actually want like a, a more pro person to join the world at some point just to show me how it's done and kind of show me how far I am away of being of being at that level just to just to kind of like put me down and and show me how terrible I am at the game because then if I have a more pro person in the world instead of dying loads I could then have uh, someone to help me out a little and and have someone show me what to do instead of having a, a birdie uh, which is which is much more useless than me and I didn't think I could say that that is me uh, but of course we all know I'm only joking but, but, but I'm not gonna lie me and Birdie are both pretty useless at the moment we cannot uh, do much we well I suppose we have built kind of like a hotel and we have got uh, two people to stay with us <laughs> I've kind of say like, like that we forced them to stay with us but they they just kind of moved in I think with the NPCs what we've got to do is we've got to build uh, rooms and they got to have like certain requirements for instance I think you can get like a, a gunsman in this game and once like you hold a gun in your hotel for about five minutes I think you get a, like a gunsman moving so that would be pretty cool to have one of those so I think uh, each time you want like a new NPC you have to like meet a requirement uh, for him to move in where where is Birdie gone where is he is he, is he down this way or is this a whole entire new cave oh, there's a chest lucky I came down here and what have we got we've got a wooden boomerang and some rope some less healing potions some recall potions which are really really handy instead of killing myself I can teleport myself home night owl potion which is again really really can if I take this out now I just want to kind of test it and I've got eight fallen stars I ju only just had four minute a minute ago it's being extra generous and there we go we are now like light are we lit up are we lit up did I even take that did it even work did that even work are we lit up well I guess we are kind of lit up a little bit more but I guess because we have this necklace on it yeah can you see it's kind of like glowing around me a little bit more that is super super handy but I kind of want to uh, destroy this but if you want to pick up that chest because I don't think I actually have enough room and I've got all these materials for my house on me that's probably why I need to actually use those uh, after we've been and explored this jungle biome but now uh, we're gonna head back down to the to the like the caves part of this because I kind of want to explore a little bit more I'm gonna uh, ignore that tin there because I feel like um, I've actually got enough of tin uh, for now at least um, we are, there, there's just some more iron I do believe is that is that iron I think it is I think it is iron. It's either iron or or something. Let's just see what it is. Very good. Oh, is it gonna uh, do my? Yeah, there we go. We've got we've got iron again. Uh, we got silver coins. Um, we haven't got much from it. Ah! Oh, I thought I was gonna die. Then no, no piranhas. Get away! Get away! Get away! He's kind of lucky that I don't have that little jabby sword anymore, isn't it? Um, but we now uh, can go and gather whatever this. I think this is gold, isn't it? I think this is gold. I think I found some gold in the last episode as well. So if I now go and gather this, yes, it is. It it is gold, I do believe. Is this gold? Is this gold? Let me just quickly uh, go and move one of these things out of my inventory. Let's move this. And if I gather this, yes, there we go. We've got loads and loads of gold. So this is super, super good because I believe gold is like one of the one of the best starter like ores you can get in the game. There's a and I've just trapped. 
ground! I've just found out I forgot to breathe! Me and Birdie forgot to breathe underwater. I forgot that we were underwater mining. Oh no! That is absolutely awful. Well, well, the exploration in this episode has not gone so well, but I guess now what we can actually do is move back to my house because I kind of want to use uh, some of the materials that I got uh, from, from crafting them. So I'm going to use uh, some of the materials that I have on me now. I'm going to place... Um, we've got a wine glass. We've got... We've got some glass bowls we can place on the tables if anyone wants anything to eat. Uh, we can have a, a mug. There we go. We've got a mug. What's this? A swiftness potion. We've also got a pink vase, which will look really cool if we place it down somewhere. And I think that is all we made. So if I just... If I kind of place this here, can we place it on top of the table? And we can! Look how lovely that looks. There we go. We've got a mug. I'll put this on the on the crafting table. There we go. This is a little mug. Uh, we've, got, we've got a bowl. Can we put a bowl here as well? Um, no, we can't fit it on there. We can fit on the bowl on, on the uh, on the table downstairs. And look at that! That is one giant bowl. <laughs> we got. Wait, can we place a bowl on the crafting table? Yes, we can. We've got bowls everywhere. <laughs> and I've also got one more piece of glass, but that is really not uh, that useful for now. But anyway, uh, I need to move this uh, this this um this store down because it's going to give me a little bit of OCD. Because as I keep on saying, I've got a bit of OCD. So and then uh, what we can do after we do this is we can extend the hotel. And I want to try. Uh, in the next few episodes and try and get some new NPCs in because I'm pretty excited now that we've got we've got Barney who seems to be uh, just staying downstairs with Wyatt but I'm pretty excited now that we've got him so I, I kind of want more and more and more you know once once you've got something you want more and more of it <laughs> that's kind of what I want I want to see what like NPCs I can get because it does get a little bit lonely in this hotel when Birdie's not online it kind of gets a little bit lonely in this hotel so it'd be nice to have some NPCs to keep me company they're not much much company because they kind of say the, the same lines over and over again uh, but it'll be much better than than nothing it's better than nothing you know so I'm gonna build up here now this is gonna be another floor uh, let's just say this is let's 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 make up a character let's just say this is bluey the the, the frog's room <laughs> this is bluey the frog the frog, frog little... okay so there's a room there whoever whoever wants that room when they come to stay can have that room <laughs> we know we just, I kind of just want to like extend out a little bit and actually we might might as well like extend out this way too we might as well uh, make it a little bit wider we might as well do that because as soon as uh, once we get and start getting packed and once we reach like the world limit I believe there's a world limit in anyway into our I'm not too sure um, but once we re reach, reach the world limit we won't be able to build anymore so we might as well extend out as much as we can uh, this way as well because we don't want to waste any space and we have got quite a nice mountain to build on so let's let's use it and <laughs> we're still wearing our raincoats it's no longer raining let's take off the the, the raincoats and, it, uh, and we can reveal my snazzy armor that I've got on underneath it. And Birdie, do that again. Throw the throw the raincoat on the floor very quickly and like walk over to it. Watch watch but but watch what Birdie does. Throw the raincoat on the floor. Throw it on the floor in front of you and walk over to it. Watch what it does. If you throw a piece of clothing, look watch watch it just hop straight onto him. It just like it just got like, flies onto his body. <laughs> that is incredible. Right. Anyway, I want I want to kind of test that out. Let's see if I throw my raincoat if I go like that and if I walk over to it's like there we go it just threw itself onto me <laughs> yeah it looks much better when birdie does it but <laughs> it is really funny and we've got a slime in our house no no we don't want them taking out our new friend where's where's the tall guy gone where's Wyatt gone did Wyatt get jealous and move out did Wyatt get jealous and and oh no here he is Wyatt Wyatt don't get jealous of uh don't get jealous of um what's he called Barney don't get jealous of Barney he's he's, he's to be honest with you he's actually quite smelly he's, he's he, he bought a, a, a terrible stench with him so I wouldn't be jealous of him and plus you're, you're much better anyway you don't see the same lines over and over again you're actually a uh, somewhat help don't tell him I said that don't tell him I said that he would be very very angry at me <laughs> hello Barney we've just been having a nice conversation about you <laughs> all right I want to try and uh, extend this out no Barney's gonna escape Barney's gonna escape he's, he's walking the plank <laughs> all right I kind of want to build this up here so so that Barney can't actually escape. So if I build that up now, I uh, like that. And if we go, if we count, uh, if we make this even, I kind of like things to be even if you haven't noticed. And I don't know what Birdie's doing up there, but he's destroying everything. <laughs> um, all right, so if I just count across here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, and there we go. If we go up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and uh, this is exactly perfect. I've managed to build it exactly how we needed it. So this is actually really, really perfect. Now uh, this is all gonna join up. So I guess these, these, um, these um glass that we put down is not gonna be any use because these are actually gonna become a uh, room. So yeah, but if you wanna go ahead and destroy the glass that we got so long, oh no, it doesn't just disappear like Minecraft. I forgot for one moment uh, that this was not Minecraft and glass doesn't just uh, disappear if you break it with a normal pickaxe. Okay, so this is going to join onto here and uh, we're going to have to get rid of this door down here too. And we, we're going to actually have to move it uh, somewhere here. Oh no, this is just a door that goes out onto the cliff now. <laughs> I've just realised that. <laughs> we're going to have to build some sort of staircase so no one uh, gets injured when they walk out of the front door. <laughs> right, let's place that in there. Uh, now like uh, this, can we place doors? Oh no, we need this block uh, to be there. Stupid newbie red cat. A silly newbie red cat. Alright, so it looks like Birdie is actually building uh, some more rooms up here. And we are uh, going to eventually uh, run out of time in this episode, which we uh, I've just looked at the time. We're slowly running out of this uh, this time in this episode. So I'm just going to very quickly uh, build up the rest of this house. Try and build it at least. I'm going everywhere with these blocks. Look at me. I'm such a messy red cat. But I'm going to uh, move slowly uh, upwards with these blocks. Uh, so hopefully I've enjoyed uh, this episode of Terraria. We haven't really done much today, but in the next episode, I'll make sure it is an extra special adventure. But in today's episode, we kind of tried to go to the jungle, so I think we're going to prepare ourselves a little bit more next time, and we'll try again, and we'll try and uh, see what is actually in the jungle. But in today's episode, we've not done much. We've uh, we've ended off the episode just building, which has been lovely, um, but because uh, everything that I do in uh, Terraria is pretty much lovely at the moment, because I am so, so newbie, so everything's pretty fascinating to me. But I'm just going to quickly just destroy this staircase and hopefully you have enjoyed this episode uh hopefully you'll join us in the next episode in this episode uh we've just been a bit lazy and kind of we've kind of given up on our adventure and we're we go there in the next episode it is okay so hopefully you have enjoyed this episode of terraria thank you so so much for joining today hopefully you have an amazing day hopefully you're smiling and barney thank you for coming and joining us and wyatt you don't have to be jealous remember he smiles uh, so hopefully you have enjoyed this episode of terraria and i'll see you in the Next one. Bye. And thank you, Bernie, for joining me today. <laughs> Bye.